On October 30, 2024, the Japanese Ministry of Defense announced the ceremonial naming and launch of the new landing craft utility, LCU vessel Neon Bear at Naikai Shipbuilding Company, S. Satota Shipyard. This initiative marks a significant investment in enhancing Japan's transport capabilities, particularly for operations involving the remote and strategically important islands in the East China Sea. As geopolitical tensions escalate, especially concerning activities in the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait, Japan's southwestern islands, part of the Ryukyu archipelago, have emerged as critical areas for defense and logistics. Japan's defense strategy has evolved to address not only traditional territorial security, but also the pressing need for rapid coordinated responses to modern challenges, including swift military mobilization and humanitarian assistance. The updated LCUs are poised to enhance interoperability with allied forces, notably the United States, thereby facilitating joint operations that require robust amphibious capabilities. Recent drills have showcased how Japan's amphibious assets can work alongside U.S. Marine Corps transport vehicles, effectively executing complex logistical and tactical operations across the Indo-Pacific region. Moreover, the new LCUs reflect Japan's commitment to improving its humanitarian and disaster relief readiness. Given the country's geographical vulnerability to natural disasters, the ability to swiftly deploy aid and personnel across its island chains is increasingly crucial. The limitations of the older fleet, particularly regarding cargo capacity and operational range, often resulted in slower responses or insufficient logistical reach. Modernizing its fleet with versatile ships like the Neon Bear will significantly enhance Japan's disaster response capabilities. Landing craft utilities are amphibious vessels specifically designed to transport troops, vehicles, and equipment directly from ship to shore. Their flat-bottom design allows for effective beach landings, and they feature a spacious cargo area equipped with a front ramp, enabling rapid unloading of personnel and vehicles. With the capacity to carry significant loads, LCUs can transport everything from troops to heavy equipment like tanks and trucks, making them vital assets for amphibious assaults and logistical missions. While LCUs may not be the fastest vessels, their reliable range and durability enable continuous operations between ships and shorelines, ensuring a steady flow of resources. Beyond combat scenarios, LCUs are essential for humanitarian missions, providing aid and emergency teams to areas with limited infrastructure. Typically deployed alongside larger amphibious ships such as landing platform docks, LPDs, and landing helicopter docks, LHDs, LCUs are integral to naval fleets, enhancing their ability to support large-scale landing operations. Japan's recent launch of the Neon Bear symbolizes a strategic enhancement of its maritime capabilities, reinforcing its commitment to addressing contemporary security challenges and ensuring a rapid response to both military and humanitarian needs in the region. As Japan continues to modernize its defense strategy, the focus on efficient logistical and operational support will be crucial in maintaining stability in an increasingly complex geopolitical landscape.